So in the last section, Shatpadnam Kathan, Kathan means Kehu, Kathan, comprising of two verses. First verse, verse number 43, was naming the six fundamental truths. So we know that soul exists, it's eternal, doer, receiver. No, because, you know, enjoyer has more to do with good things. Endurer has little bit with negative things. So today we'll keep receiver. <laughs> Our experiment Karine Joy final before we reach the fourth pad, we'll finalize it. So let's see um, how it works with the receiver. So receiving itself is experiencing M Samjine receiver. Okay. So it's a um, doer receiver, but it can be liberated from this cycle and there is a path, means of liberation, so naming. And in the second verse, verse number 44, what did we see? That this, these uh, six fundamental truths or this Shatsthanak, briefly explain. Shatdarshan Pante, so Param Krupadev has woven the gist of the six systems of thought or six major philosophies of the Indian mm, culture, Indian tradition. Because if we see the Western, we'll have Christianity, Islam, uh, Judaism, Zoroastrianism. If we see, no, that will be East. So if you go to East, then Taoism, Confucianism, Shinto, so, but Christianity has more to do with religion than actually philosophy. So I don't want to go deep into it, like there is Jain philosophy and Jain religion, but there is Charvak philosophy and no Charvak religion. <laughs> so I don't want to go into detail, but he has given a brief idea. We'll see a little bit today, but in next part, surely. So a gist or a brief idea of the six schools of thought, or you can say six major philosophies, while explaining six pad, the six fundamental, his subject matter is not shat darshan, subject matter is shat pad. But in explaining the shat pad, he is going to give us a brief, idea of the six philosophies without naming it. But I will be naming it when I'll explain to you. He had his own purpose and I have my own purpose. I want, see, his purpose was to just make you clear about the nature of the soul. So he didn't have the purpose of naming it. I have a purpose of naming it because I have a dual purpose. Explaining you the nature of the soul and explaining you, showing you the excellence of Param Krupa Dev. <laughs> so I have a dual purpose. So I will be naming it, but not for the purpose of negating. In fact, Param Krupa Dev's excellence lies in not considering any philosophy wrong. Wherever he has used, how they are right from their viewpoint. So, Pariyai Drashtiti, this is perfect. Dravya Drashtiti, this is perfect. And I'll prove it to you. I'll show you as we go along. I'll prove it that how they are right was his intention and not where they are wrong. That is for the reader to decide or think or, you know, it's optional. See, so many companies, they need to advertise their products, right, on, say, um, say, television, TV. So they get a slot of how many seconds? Uh -huh. 
જે બહુ ટીવી જોતા હોય એ જ કહી શકે એટલે કમર્શિયલ્સ બોલો એડવર્ટાઈઝમેન્ટ બોલો કેટલી સેકન્ડ હોય સર સર ટેન ટ્વેન્ટી સેકન્ડ સો ઇન ધેટ લિમિટેડ ટાઈમ ઓફ ટ્વેન્ટી સેકન્ડ ધે હેવ એન ઓપ્શન ઈધર જસ્ટ ડિસ્પ્લે ધ સ્પેશિયાલિટી ઓફ ધ પ્રોડક્ટ ઓર ક્રિટિસાઇઝ અધર પ્રોડક્ટ and ave jo jo ave advertisements jo jo ye tiki and we exactly know which tiki it is though it's not named and not that we know they want to condemn that tiki tiki you know what is tiki ah uh, so bar 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 rather to ye tiki ye tiki mala or if it's washing the clothes what what i want to say is try to visualize this you have limited time you want to waste in criticizing this or you want to just show the speciality of this so that's i would use the word i'm i don't want to use the word awesome ability for this excellence which comes from three things and this is my view clarity of thought more than that purity of heart more than that also sincerity in his action aya thodi savdhani na rakhi hot and just used some six words charvak buddhi uh, bauddh mat means buddhism or vedanta we would have been fanatics rigid jains unfortunately sorry fortunately we have to be spiritual because atma siddhi makes us spiritual fortunately right so you understand because of the clarity of thought 100% purity of heart he did not want anyone to be labeled wrong even if it's a partial truth but he does want to say this is only from one view point he cannot mislead you that is also clear he's a he's a spiritual leader he can't mislead you by appeasing everyone that is also against uh, the quality of leadership if you are a leader you have to give sound judgments clear conviction you cannot just be a person appeasing everyone badane khush karva mate aam bhi sach aam nahi he has to have a clarity of thought but purity in heart and sincerity in action what he feels he has written in his composition so this is what i have enjoyed it most because as laluji muni said na rakhya tapa ma na rehwa dida dhundya ma tapa means tapa gach the murti pujak sect and dhundya means the stanakwasi sect so ke ke na jawa dida tapa ma i did not convert into a murti pujak na rehwa dida i was a stanakwasi sadhu but he didn't let me stay wasi મૂકી દીધા આત્મા સો ધીસ શોઝ ધ નોબલ ધ સ્પિરિચ્યુઅલ ઇન્ટેન્ટ ઓફ પરમ કૃપાલ એન્ડ ઓફકોર્સ ધ વર્ધીનેસ ઓફ લલ્લુજી મુનિ ઓબ્વિયસલી બટ બિકોઝ ધ લીડર વોન્ટ્સ ટુ લીડ સમવન ઇન ધીસ એક્સપીરિયન્સ સો ધીસ ઇઝ ક્લિયરલી સ્ટેટેડ યર એન્ડ આઈ વિલ શો ઇટ in the for the uh, the discussion or the debate i will point out those words and i'll show you but it's already stated here that you know i will be giving you a brief intro idea of the six philosophies but my hetu is parmarth that so that you understand the truth not negate not label not judge anything so that's so we are clear about it so after this brief introduction to the subject matter the main subject is now going to begin the questioning and the answering session starts from today 
So, as you know, Param Krupadev has an embrace. He has embraced the style of a dialogue. There is a guru, there is a shisha. Guru giving a pravachan and shisha listening. No. It's a dialogue, a discussion, a, a debate in, in a positive way. Debate means not the one we see on televisions and all. Uh, everyone is shouting at the top of the voice. Uh, n not that way. So, everywhere it will be written, Sadguru Uvacha, Shishya Uvacha, because it starts with questions, so first it will be Shishya Uvacha. Uvacha means says. So, Shishya Uvacha, then he presents his doubt, and then the Sadguru Uvacha. But I personally consider the Shishya a Su Shishya. And I have my reasons. It's not written in Atma Siddhi Shastra. It's only written Shishya Uvacha. Because he's a disciple, he's a student, he's a pupil. He has come to know something. But I will show you the way the Guru answers, I know the Shishya is too Shishya. He's taking so much pains to answer him and resolve and clarify and eliminate his doubts. So the first proof is the Guru's love and his style of answering shows that, that Shisha is a Su Shisha. Otherwise, you go on sending emails, he wouldn't even answer you. And here the Shisha put, presents his doubts and the Guru lovingly, if he has put his doubts in four verses, the Guru answers him in ten verses. <laughs> Expands it with an introduction and a conclusion. And one by one, see, you say, you ask this, this is the answer for this, that way. So the pains he is taking shows the worthiness. Worthiness is not by sending thousand emails. Worthiness is you don't send an email and you get a reply. That is worthiness. So whatever, he is genuinely interested in truth. He intends to pursue the spiritual path. Though he will be using Mithya, Moksha, Upaya and all, but internally he wants his life to be meaningful, yes. purposeful. So that intent is there, of course because of the doubt he is not moved one step, but that intent is there. He genuinely intends to pursue the spiritual path. But there are some doubts in his mind, say regarding the soul, say regarding the existence of the soul. And he wants them to be resolved. And he knows only an enlightened master can solve his problems, means eliminate his doubts. So he wishes he meets a Sadguru and he decides to humbly put forth his arguments and get satisfactory replies. So, see I'm saying the first three words of Atmarthi Lakshan. <laughs> then I'm saying the fourth one. Ema vichari antre, he approaches a Sadguru. This was in his mind before he met the Sadguru. Now, see, so I'm already saying that the Shishya is an Atmarthi. Because I am just you know, using that language. mane koi pratyak sadguru mali jai to hum param upkar ganu netrane yog ikatvati agna din vartu. All this was in, was in his heart, in his mind. Right? So oh, this Shisha also understood, means he had this understanding that I want to follow the spiritual path. But I have doubts regarding the soul itself and the existence of the soul. Not even the nature, but the very existence of the soul. And till it is not resolved, I can, I don't know what to do. But I want to get it clarified. And for that, I need an enlightened master. So all this is in his... And then he approaches a Sadguru. And when he meets a Sadguru, he expresses the doubts resounding in his mind in a very humble, polite manner. Not just to prove his master wrong. 
to clarify his doubts. There are always two intentions. When you are talking to a master, either you want to prove him wrong, this is not the way he should be doing, saying, ex uh, propounding, preaching, etc. And why am I getting doubts? Why I want to resolve my doubts. Maybe there is some lack of information or there is some misinformation or there must be something because if you are right, why am I not finding it right? So is there a fault in me or in the communication? But it is surely not there in you. Because I'm a Bhavi ji, I'm a Sulab Bodhi ji. If you find it there, that only the master we judge that Taru Paribrahman Ganu Che only by your thought processes. He, by Mati Gnan, he can judge that you are a Durbhavi ji. Because you are not finding fault here, you are not finding fault in the communication or information, you are finding fault here in the enlightened master. So if it's here, janmatehana alp, very few lives. Relying on wrong facts, I don't know. Concluding fault is here, Durbhaviji. This is the way the master judges Ketaru transmigration as he gets It's so very clear, right? So this fellow is um, approaching a Sadguru. Humbly, politely, Vinayati is expressing all the doubts resounding in his mind. And now the Guru. I talked about the Shisha. I talked about the meeting. I am talking about the Sadguru now. And then I go to the structure of the whole section. So the Guru sees the worthiness. So he is willing to answer. He can say, I don't have time right now. It only shows your unworthiness. His day is not of 24 hours. I don't know what I'm saying, but if you can pick up the message. If you are worthy, he has all the time in the world. The moment he says, I'm a little busy right now, it only shows you are unworthy and nothing else. But here the Guru is willing. He did not say that Joi su, Kyarek apne shanti iti vat kari su, emne kidu. He saw the worthiness of the disciple and is willing to answer. And he does answer. He gives simple, accurate, convincing answers. Simple, accurate, and convincing answers. And he answers. His doubts one by one. Th this was your first doubt, this is the answer to that. This is your second doubt, this is the answer to that. So how much the Guru also loves the Shishya? And because the answers have come from self-experience, because he's a Sadguru, right? So it's come from self-experience, it penetrates into the Shishya's heart. Heart to heart. Heart to heart communication. So because it has come from self-experience, he's getting convinced, not only convinced, you can see his purpose and passion. You will see that in Aho Aho Sri Sadguru. When the pupil shows, expresses his joy, not only of the understanding, but of the experience he got in association with the Sadguru. And the passion and the resolve, Adehadi Asti Varto Prabhuadin, from today, my body, the senses, the mind, everything is going to be in your service. See the result. So see the pupils, the students, the disciples, expression of joy. And it's, it must be so heart touching for Laluji Muni. He kept it in Devandan. Otherwise, these verses would have been only in Atma Siddhi Shastra. So only when we do the Atma Siddhi Parayan, we would come across these verses. He picked it up and put it in a... Rather, anytime you want to do some stuti of a Sadguru, you can use it. 
Any time you want to do vandan, you have to use this. And now it has become the way the Srimad's followers do their nityakram. This much is the first thing I give. You know, if they want to pre bijam diksha, now I've started that new thing also. I thought everything starts from a seed, but now, uh, you know, that is also too much for someone. So I've started the pre bijam natak now. And that is chanting this, oh, this is your beginning. Womb, I would say. So, by composing these verses and that too in a dialogue style, Param Krupavadeva has made such a difficult topic, so easy, comprehensible, and the most important, interesting. You will find it in this yagna only. You don't know, he's taking us. He's giving us right through so many scriptures. So I have quoted all that in my thesis. And uh, I'll get it once. Huh? The original uh, thesis. Five, um, five big books. Tamil Laksakvapilu Encyclopedia Live Chukesu. And when I had to submit it to the university, I had to submit five copies of my thesis. So how many books? So, Pelu Britannica, so kya hai? Ah, ah. So I think, like you know, aki encyclopedia nun set lay jata ho ye ulage. My my guide used to say ke party walo kar jo party walo, you know. What do you call the party walo? Huh? But to you understand, no? Rekadi, rekadi line javi pade evi te. Because nobody will be able to carry your books. And uh, yeah. so, he, the main thing, main thing is he made it so easy and interesting. Such a difficult topic to make it easy is only difficult, <laughs> not easy. <laughs> and on top to make it interesting. So, that is his awesome ability. So now, going towards the structure of the whole section, the, m maybe the main section of uh, Atma Siddhi Shastra, we can say, and the first fundamental truth, existence of the soul. So, this section has 14 stanzas, verses, gathas, kadis. You have to write only one, whichever appeals to you. You won't write stanzas, okay, verses, Ke Gujarati Om, Gatha, Ke Kadi, whatever you want to write. So, how many stanzas? Fourteen. I've always taught Nemi Ji, you know, years back, say in 2008 or 2009. Ke whenever you have to deliver a lecture, I've learned this from my Guruji. And I like using different words for Param Kupar Dev now, my Guru Dev, my Guru Ji. I've learned this from Nemi Ji. Every day he has some different name for me. <laughs> sometimes he calls me Bapa, sometimes Bhagwan, sometimes Sahib Ji, sometimes Guru Dev, sometimes Guru Ji. And even I call him by different names. <laughs> and now I'm going to take his last test. I, I call any name and he comes. Now I'll be calling Maulik Ji, and he should know he's not calling Maulik Ji, he's calling me. From my tonation, he should know that it is him whom I'm calling. So that's the last test now. So, um, whatever. So, uh, in 2008 or 2009, I said, if ever you have to deliver some lecture and all, this is what I have learned from my Guruji, so I'm sharing it with you. First, visualize the soul of your lecture. Then, prepare a skeleton of your lecture. Then, stuff it with flesh. Then, wrap it with skin. And then, do the makeup. <laughs> so, 
I have learned this from my Guruji, so I told him, Kepela, what do you say you have to take in Udkosh? Say, I tell you, okay, then take it. <laughs> Example, okay. <laughs> so, just don't come on the stage and say, ah, today let's do e. <laughs> no. Your soul has to be very clear. Today, what we want to actually speak out on love or power of love or purpose of love or pure love or love for God, prepare your soul of your lecture has to be clear. Atma of the lecture. Then the skeleton. Now, you know, jot down some points, map it exactly how you want to begin and how you want to lead your audience and where you want to conclude. What you want to conclude should be in their claps. Means they should have understood what you want to exactly convey. So now the skeleton, harka. Then the matter, just don't say, okay, now these are the five points I've, uh, uh, and I've dictated it. And no, now explain it properly, flesh. Wrap it properly in the complexion of the skin and all that should be fine. And a pachi kaink example, examples the makeup karvo hito kar. Because sometimes one example and people only remember that. Huh? Because you only see the makeup. Ani lipstick bo sari hati, ani pelu saru, pelu glitter saru hato. I don't say glitter, I say litter. Right word, right? So, I've learned this from my Guruji. He didn't need to prepare anything, but very clearly you can see he's so clear in his soul of the discussion, the skeleton of the discussion, the flesh of the discussion, the skin of the discussion, and the makeup of the discussion. Very beautiful. So, I'm talking about the skeleton now. The skeleton of this section. How many stanzas? 14. 14. 4 and 10. 4 is the doubts of the Shishya and 10 is the solution. Understand? 4 and 10, total 14. And that is the subject matter of this Yagna of us. 14 stanzas. So in the four stanzas or verses, the shishya, the student, the pupil, the disciple, he presents his doubts. See, I'm using a good word, presents. He doesn't argue. He presents his doubts in the form of three arguments. So we'll take one one argument at a time. He is presenting his doubts regarding the existence of the soul, Atmana Stitva, in the form of three arguments. One in 45, one in 46, and one in 47. Three arguments. That is also under the influence of the Charvak philosophy. And people use the word an adjective for charvak, and they use atheistic charvak philosophy, which I don't agree. And still, I have put it in the link, and I'll be reading out, then I'll be cancelling, because atheist only means not believing in the existence of God. But that's, what, no, that's not what I have written in my Gujarati thesis. I have written Atmana Astitwane Na Manar Charvak Darshan. So I would have used, if I had to translate it in English, materialistic Charvak philosophy, not atheist. Because there is no God in the world. The world is self. Who is the self? The soul or the body? What can I call as myself, the soul or the body? So the whole debate is around soul, not God. We are not taking theology. 
Theology means study of God. Theo is God, Greek. And logic means study. So our purpose here is not studying the concept of God, the concept of soul. So I would not use atheist over here because we are not talking of the existence of God, but existence of soul. And actually the word atheist means not believing in the existence of God the Creator. So Jainism is an atheistic religion. And that's what I've learned throughout my MA. It does not believe in God. God as a creator of the world. Not God as a pure soul. So if you say the Charvak philosophy is an atheistic philosophy, you will have to say Jainism is also atheistic. So I can't use this word. But this is under the influence of the Charvak. So forget the word Charvak right now. We'll discuss about all the six philosophies and all next time. Say sheer materialism. Matter is the only reality and there is nothing besides matter. And matter is just one substance according to Jainism called Pudgal. And the main substance is the spirit, Atma, Chaitanya Mai Atma. So they don't believe. Except matter, there is nothing. So matter, and only matter, so materialism. Then comes the spirit. So matter and spirit. And then only spirit remains. So spiritualism. This is our journey. From materialism to spiritual. Atmati, Sauhin, spiritualism. So, very clear. So, in the four stanzas, he puts forth, he presents his doubt regarding the existence of soul in the form of three arguments, which is, and his doubts are because he's in the influence of the Charvak philosophy. And the doubts are presented, but Param Krupadev does not use the word Charvak not even in the doubt section and not even in the solution section. This is just between us, okay? <laughs> this is under the influence of the child. Prabhu has not used it. And he had his own purpose. I said, I have my own yes. purpose. Okay. And then comes the ten stanzas. So Guru, the Sadguru, sorry, Sadguru patiently listens to the Shisha. He's talking crap. His doubt is stupid, his argument is foolish, everything is crap. You can, you know, when you get impatient, but Guru as if he is getting convinced by the Shishya's doubt. Oh, oh, nati dekha to etle atma nati, acha. The Shishya must be feeling, I have already convinced this enlightened master that there is nothing like so. Patiently listens, knowing that this fellow is a truth seeker. That's why the patience, huh? that he doesn't have time. And then he shows, he rather answers every doubt one by one separately. He doesn't give a lecture on soul. Every doubt is picked up and resolved independently. And while solving his, you know, resolving, sorry, resolving his doubts, he also shows how the shisha is wrong in his observation, in his reasoning, and in his conclusions. I said it yesterday, three things. In his observation, in his reasoning, something pertaining to the eyes, something pertaining to his logic and something pertaining to his conclusion. So obviously if this too is wrong, the conclusion is going to be wrong. Obviously. But he will show, okay, because you have been thinking this way, because you have been believing this way, because your senses, sensual experience is like that, so is your conclusion, but that is incorrect and this is the right solution and 
everything very beautifully done.